Hi, everybody. How are you? We are still trying to connect to Facebook. Oh, my goodness. So, hello to all of you on YouTube. I'm really, really happy that you're here. However, we've got a little bit of a problem with our Facebook. So, when I logged on to StreamYard, it said that Facebook is uh, experiencing blackouts for StreamYard, meaning that for whatever reason, I can't stream to, to Facebook, which is really, really unfortunate because this is a Feel Good Friday show. Um, let's see who from my team is here on YouTube. I know Bonnie is. Hey, Bonnie, can you do me a favor? Can you go to our, our, um, our team and ask the team if they will share this video from YouTube to Facebook because it's not, it's not going to stream to Facebook otherwise. Also, if somebody can post in Facebook, the group and on the business page and ask that everybody come over to YouTube, just in case. Uh, I'm not really sure what, what the issue is, but we're not able to stream to Facebook right now. And I don't really know. I don't know why, but hello to all of you on YouTube. <laughs> I'm happy that you're here. I'm sad though, because I'm afraid this is really going to mess up our Feel Good Friday show with, um, with it not streaming. Two's here too. Two, did you hear what I told Bonnie? It'll be really, really helpful. I'm so sorry, everybody. I mean, not that it matters to you because you're here on YouTube. <laughs> So, oh my gosh. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Well, while we're waiting on our Facebook people to get here, that's okay. I'm just going to keep on rolling with the show. Thank you, Judy. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Okay. So <clears throat> let's get to business, shall we? It is Facebook. Facebook. It is Feel Good Friday. It is Feel Good Good Friday. For those of you who celebrate, so happy Good Friday to all of you and happy Feel Good Friday to everybody. <sighs> all right. My favorite day of the week here on Feel Good Fridays. I love a good Feel Good Friday because I feel like this is a great way to inspire you to create jewelry that doesn't take a ton of techniques, right? And I make that super easy for you by showing you all of these cool projects that you can put together very easily yourself and then offering them in my Etsy shop for you to go grab as a kit. And all you got to do is come back here, check out the video again on a replay and you can remake the project, which is super fun, super easy. So that's how we do things here on Feel Good Fridays. We focus on fun and easy instant gratification jewelry. And I show you several kits. Today's show is absolutely fully loaded. That's why I'm kind of sad that Facebook is not connecting because I have so many things in the show today and I'm really, really concerned as to how this is going to go uh, without our Facebook friends watching. But fingers crossed that it will all turn out okay. <laughs> right? One cell is better than no cell. So, oh, okay. Let's make this a good Friday. So in the show today, I have, as usual, per our Feel Good Fridays, I've got kits that include all of the findings. And I also have true do-it-yourself kits where they do not include the findings. They are kits that are just the beads and the components. And then it is up to you to use findings from your own stash and create whatever amazing thing you want to. I just give you a little bit of inspiration as to what I think the possibilities are. And then once you get it, it is up to you to just come up with something awesome. I also have small um, batches of beady goodness. Those are our maker mixes. They are things I don't have enough of to create a full kit out of, but I still want to share them with you. So we start out with our maker mixes. Those don't have a piece of jewelry in mind when I put those together. Those are quite literally just extra things that I have um, that I want to share. So, oh, all right, I'm going to get you guys turned around and we are going to get started. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, couple reminders about today. If you would please set your reminders for yourself for 4 p.m. Eastern time, uh, because that is when I have my Art Beads Live over on the Art Beads website. 
and there may or may not be a giveaway today so you definitely don't want to miss out on that all right so for our project i'm sorry not for our project for our maker mix we've got our green elephant mix <laughs> I love this one. Look at this little baby elephant. It's got a little elephant in it. He looks super happy. We've got some metal beads in here. There's clear quartz. There is malachite. There is uh, a venturine. And there is a lot of agate in this one. So this is our little green elephant. There's also chuck glass in here as well. But this is our little green elephant maker mix. Super cutie patootie. All right. Going to sit this to the side. And we are going to get right into our true do-it-yourselves before we get into the kits with the findings. And <clears throat> I've got a lot of these, so I'm, I'm really excited to see how you guys feel about these. So let's see here. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to get my notebook ready here. So the first one up is our Sunset Drop. Now, again, remember, these are the ones that only have the beads. They don't have any of the findings. So this one is a crystally chuck glass mix. And I was thinking that this one would make a really nice double strand necklace. So first of all, we've got a German crystal connector here. You can see it's got a, a link on the top and the bottom. And we also have a prestige, aka Swarovski. This was in a Swarovski package. So I'm going to call it Swarovski. I'm going to call it what it is. Okay. Um, another little drop here. So I was thinking to make two drops out of this would be really cool to have like your big drop on the bottom and your smaller drop on your short strand on the top. Let me move down just a little bit here. All right, then we have a check glass coin here that has got a really beautiful gold side and then this really cool kind of maroon coppery side. And I was thinking about making like some little drops. Maybe, I don't know. I've got some crystal bicones here in the same kind of color. And then using the drux, because we've got some drux. So make your, your smaller strand with the smaller drux. I think I'm missing a drux. <laughs> and, oh, no, no, no. I had it like this. This is why. So I had that hanging from there. So like your little smaller strands, you can come up to your crystals here and then you use your larger drucks for your bottom strand. And of course you still have extra beads here. You've got some extra drucks and a drop and then this really beautiful check glass kind of bumpy bead that you could throw in anywhere you wanted to. This was just my idea. Now you definitely can turn this into whatever you want to. That's the the beauty of these true do-it-yourselves, but I thought this one was really pretty. The color palette here, I really, really like. So that is our first one. All right. Moving on to the next. All right, we've got Soda Light and Butterflies. I love this one too. This one is so pretty. So this one has antique brass in it. We've got Soda Light and a beautiful like faceted glass oval here. And <clears throat> you could put this together however you wanted to. You could do a really cool bracelet out of this if you wanted to, or you could do a necklace, right? With that as a pretty drop. You've got your soda light and you've got some spacers here. So if you wanted to like throw your spacers in as well, you could do that. A lot of soda light beads in this one. So you got, you got a lot to work with here as far as the soda light is concerned. So if you don't want to drop one of those off, you could put it up here. Lots of soda light. You could make this one and it's faceted too, which is really, really pretty because it really catches the light really well. So you could definitely turn this one into a lot of different things. You could probably get uh, earrings out of this one as well. So if you wanted to take four of your soda light beads uh, to make some simple little drop earrings to go with this, you absolutely could do that. Or you could turn it into a bracelet, which would also be quite lovely. And I think that if you made a bracelet out of this, you could probably get even bigger earrings because you would have more beads left over. Just, just thinking, right? Just thinking, love this, love this. All right, moving on to the next. All right, next up 
is, let's see, another butterfly one. I really, I've got butterflies on the brain today. So I, this is our blue butterfly. This one's got two different butterflies in it. And then it has these sweet little dragonfly beads in it as well. I was kind of thinking earrings with this one just because there's two of the butterflies. But honestly, you could do like a bracelet and a necklace if you wanted to. There are some chat glass rondelles, chat glass drucks, and chat glass bicones. They're also faceted in this really pretty like blue green and some little fire polish as well. So depending on what you wanted to do with the, with these, right? If you wanted to make earrings, you absolutely could. Or you could do a bracelet with one of the butterflies and a necklace. Or you could do a bracelet and then just save the other butterfly for something. Or make two bracelets if you wanted to. This guy hangs. So I'd probably put him like at the, at the clasp or in the middle, right? Just an idea. I don't know. I love these because the possibilities are really kind of endless. You know what I mean? You can come up with a ton of different things and there's a lot of beads in here. So if you wanted to make yourself some little earrings to go with these, you could. You've got some metal beads in here as well that you could use. So if you wanted to put those on the ends of your bracelet or if you wanted to pop in some of that sparkle from those faceted rondelles, you could. You got an extra butterfly, extra beads. I love this one. I think this one is a lot of fun. I definitely see earrings and then maybe a bracelet, but it's up to you. That's the great part about this is that it is 100% up to you. All right, moving on to the next. All right, so next up we have, this is another one of my favorites. I really love all of the true do-it-yourselves that are in the show today. So this one is Blue Cloisonne and Chet Glass. So it's called Blue Cloisonne, I believe, yes. But this one I think, I think is really cool. So I definitely see necklace here, but again, totally up to you, totally up to you. But I'm seeing, like, the most beautiful drop. Look at that as a drop. How pretty is that? And then you've got a ton of little drucks that you can make your necklace out of. You could do, like, one necklace that's just a single strand and keep going with your beads. Or you could do a double strand. You know how we do sometimes when we make that short double strand. How pretty is that? I love, 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 love. You could even save out some of the blue drops and add some of your own beads to create some uh, pretty little earrings to go with this. If you wanted to, you can pop a drop down here if you wanted. This color palette is just quite lovely though. Love that. So pretty. So pretty. I agree, Cindy. Spring is in the air. And trust me, I'm feeling it because I'm dealing with a sinus infection at the moment. I went yesterday. <laughs> I'm on antibiotics. I got a shot. Um, and yeah, that is definitely one of the, the drawbacks to spring <laughs> is the sinus infection that comes with it. All right, we've got one more true do-it-yourself and then we're going to move on to the rest. Now, this one is another really colorful pretty one. This one is colorful lava and it has a piece of, what do I call this? Or it, what is it called? It's not chrysoprase. I always get it mixed up with another one. So this one's got a big chunky bead, a big chunky chrysoprase. Everybody's of course looks different because chrysoprase is like that. But then you've got 17 lava beads here in these really fun colors. These are not like just regular colored lava beads. I loved these because the colors in these were very, very rich. So I, of course, was thinking bracelet and I was really kind of thinking stretch bracelet with this. Like if, if it were me, I would make a really cool stretch bracelet out of this, though this would make the beautiful beginnings of a really cool necklace if you wanted to put all of these in the front of a necklace but and the cool thing about lava beads 
is that you can <clears throat> you can add your own essential oils to these and smell them all day. One of my favorite things and what I definitely need at the moment is the peppermint oil. <laughs> I love when I wear lava beads to put the peppermint oil on them sp specifically for times like this where I'm really, really congested. Or if you have a headache, peppermint oil is really good for that. You just take a little drop of oil to one bead. Or if you want to smell this like and you want everybody to smell it before they come into the room, you could do every bead. Um, really the best way to do this would be like to take your essential oil, whatever, whatever scent you want and dab it on with a, um, a Q-tip, but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to, right? It's just a pretty bracelet. Or like I said, the beginnings of a really pretty, um, necklace, but I love, I love lava beads in colors. I think they're a lot of fun. And the fact that I was able to get these in like this, these really rich colors, I think was awesome. So. Yeah, I know Facebook's not bringing me up. So I'm hoping that um, my team was able to post over on Facebook a copy of this because StreamYard is not streaming to Facebook for some reason today. Really? Oh, peppermint tea. Yes. Oh, I wish I had some peppermint tea right now and a humidifier. <laughs> But I'm powering through. I'm not letting a sinus infection stop me. <laughs> Jane, I know StreamYard's not streaming to Facebook today. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a, it is a Facebook StreamYard issue. Such a pain. But I'm glad you found me. All right. So that was our last of the true do-it-yourselves. This is, of course, where you add your own findings. This one would be a beautiful bracelet. You've probably got enough beads here to snag a couple for some earrings. Um, or if you wanted to turn this into the front of a necklace and, uh, I mean, anything you wanted. That's the joy of the true do-it-yourselves. All right. So I'm going to set this over to the side. Don't forget about these as we move through the kits that do, in fact, have findings. Also want to mention to you guys that there is bead soup in the shop, you guys. And I'll mention it again before we go. But these are limited edition bead soups. Probably going to be the last time that I make bead soup for a very, very long time. So if you want to stock up on those bead soup bags, it's 10 ounces of mixed beads. Those are in the shop in limited quantities. So uh, don't miss out on that. All right, let's move to the beautiful kits because I've got a lot of them today. That's why I'm so sad that Facebook is missing this because I have some really stunning things in today's show. We're going to start out with a necklace, the only necklace in the show today. Oh my goodness. And <clears throat> this is our Tierra Cast coin necklace. And because there are seed beads involved with this one, this is just a simple stringing project. But because there are seed beads involved, I, I pre-strung half of this necklace because uh, I knew it was going to take us a minute. So uh, I'm going to lift you up just a little bit as well so you can see as much of this as possible. But I strung up one side of this and then we are going to start in the center and do the other side. We're just going to mirror what we already have. But just to show you what we have, we we have Czech glass melons. We have Czech glass drucks. We have Preciosa bicones, this beautiful like light blue color with the 80 finish. We have large Czech glass and then another section of our drucks, our Preciosa and our melons. So you're going to be able to see this pattern in full as we go. So this is coming down one side. We're now at the middle and this features our tiara cast coin. I love this in antique brass and antique brass um, chain is the length part of our necklace today. So, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to dump out my beads here and I've got to separate out my wire guardian and find my crimp. You, you may have the same challenge when you get your beads because the seed beads and the crimps look very, very similar. Okay. So, like I said, we're down here to the middle, and so I'm going to take my wire, and I'm going to thread on eight seed beads, and then we're going to add our focal. The focal is going to sit right on top of these seed beads. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So those are in the center, and then, like I said, I'm going to thread my focal and it's going to go right on top of that so as it hangs 
and gravity does what gravity does, it's going to hang right in the middle of those seed beads. It's, it's also creating a protective barrier between our pendant and our beading wire. Okay. All right. Now, next up, we are going to pick up a melon. We're going to pick up three seed beads. We're going to pick up another melon and three more seed beads. Okay. And then we're going to pick up a bicone. Okay. And then three more seed beads. Our seed beads are going to go pretty much between all of these. Okay. And then we're going to pick up our large drux. We're going to do a section of three drux. The drux only have two seed beads between them, though, just to kind of keep them closer together because these are kind of a large bead. So there's a druck, two seed beads, a druck, two seed beads. If you guys love this necklace, I've got earrings that match it in the show. So, all right, there's our three drucks. Okay, we're going to pick up three more seed beads. And you get a ton of seed beads in your kit, so if, you don't have to worry about losing any of them. You also don't need to use all of them <laughs> for this project. I just wanted to be sure because I, I have a tendency to lose seed beads. So I just assume that everybody else is the same way. And it's always nice to have extras. Okay, so three more seed beads. And then we're going to pick up that large fire polish bead. Look how pretty. Yeah. This is such a pretty necklace. All right, and then we're gonna finish this up the side. So we're doing three more seed beads. I'm glad that I did half of this in advance though, because we would have been here for a while picking up these yeah. seed beads. So there's our little bicone. We're gonna pick up three more seed beads. One, two, and three, and then a melon. Three more seed beads and a melon. Three seed beads and a druck. Three more seed beads and we're going to finish this off with our two melons and then we're going to crimp and then we'll add the chain section to this and we will be ready to go with this one. So simple stringing, beautiful beads. All right. So now you can see just how pretty all of that is. I wish you could see it all in one shot. That would be nice. <laughs> but love, 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 love. All right, so we're gonna crimp and then we're gonna add our chain to this such a pretty design. So if you want the set though, hang on for the earrings. So we're going to thread on our crimp. We're going to thread on our wire guardian. Ooh, the blue cloisonne true do it yourself sold out. I knew it would. I knew it would. And guys, those are always in like limited supply. So it's when it comes to the true do-it-yourselves, I never have a ton of those, um, so it's always good to grab those when you can. All right, so making sure our wires are not crisscrossing inside that crimp. My, my wire guardian always wants to twist around on me when I get to this side of the project. But then we're going to come in with our crimper tool. We're going to put that into the back notch of the crimper tool. We're going to give that a good squeeze, and then we're going to turn it sideways put it into the front notch, give that a good squeeze. And then we are going to tug on that. And we're going to come in with our cutter tool and trim off. Uh, Marcia says, what's the length of the necklace? It is whatever length you want it to be because you've got a nice set of chain included in your kit. And you can adjust that chain by trimming off um, or adding jump rings to it to make it longer. So I've got my two pieces of chain. They're connected back here with just my simple hardware. And I'm going to connect 
with a jump ring to my wire guardians. All right, so now we are finished with our necklace. So, so pretty. Love this color palette here. You see those drucks, they're so nice. And then of course you can't go wrong with the Tierra Cast pendant. And of course I only have a handful of these. So once these are gone, you guys know how it is with the Tierra Cast stuff. Once it's gone, it is really truly gone because we're not we're not gonna be able to get our hands on much Tierra Cast anymore these days. So I definitely would grab those up uh, if you love them. All right, moving on to some earrings that are going to match this. So I'm going to sit this over to the side. Now I do have a bracelet that would match this, but is in silver. So I don't know how you feel about your mixed metals, but um, there's definitely a bracelet in the show that would go. All right. So some simple little earrings here. If you wanted to create a cute little set, this also has those melons from the necklace and some of those blue preciosa bicones with the addition of a really pretty blue check glass pearl. So these cute little earrings would definitely make a nice little rounded out set. All right, so first things first, we need to work on our melon here. We're going to do a, <clears throat> a simple loop. Two of them already have them. We're going to do one together. So I'm going to thread this on. Dorothy, I'm so glad you made it. All right, Dorothy, you want to see the necklace that we made? <laughs> I can't help but show it off because it's so darn pretty. But look, we made this really pretty necklace with Chet Glass and Preciosa and a Tierra Cast pendant. And I'm making some earrings that match it right now. All right, so we're going to do a simple loop on these. So I'm just grabbing the wire where it is exiting the bead. I'm going to give that a bend. I'm going to come in with my cutter tool. And I'm going to trim off, leaving myself about a fourth of an inch of wire. And then I'm going to use my round nose pliers here, grab that wire and roll back to create a simple loop. Okay. All right. So you are going to use all three of these on your oval ring here. One of them needs to go onto a jump ring though. So we're going to go ahead and put it onto a jump ring and then we're going to open up very gently our oval link. All right. So opening up a jump ring, adding one of our melons, closing that back. And then very gently, we're gonna take our oval, just open it just like so, and we're gonna thread on each one of our melons. So one melon, the melon on the jump ring so that it hangs just a little lower and then another melon. And then before we close this oval link, we're gonna go ahead and add another jump ring and this jump ring is where we're going to add the top part of our earring okay so i'm going to go ahead and close that back oh goodness maybe <laughs> i know i'm strong enough <laughs> all right now we're going to take that jump ring i guess i probably could have just added the jump ring any any old time if i wanted to because i was just going to turn around and open it back up so and add it on when you open it if you want, but I'm going to add my eye pin to it. All right, so we're ready for the next. We're going to thread on our blue chat glass pearl and then our bicone. Yeah, you guys didn't dream that. So it's Kirsten. She was the designer for Tierra Cast. She designed um, tons of their components and she was going to start her own company. Uh, I don't know that it has anything related to Tierra Cast. Um, she just wanted to start her own. All right. So now I'm going to do a wrapped loop here up and over. Rotate, take the wire over to the other side. I assume that since she was the designer for a lot of those components that she would be recreating those. Um, but I don't know for sure. I think that's illegal 
a legal issue that I don't have any idea about. Uh, but I would hope so. So we may see some of them. Uh, I know it's not going to be the same by any means, but um, she's an amazing designer. So I'm, I'm excited to see where she goes with things. All right. So now I'm going to trim off the excess. And then I'm going to add my ear wire. Okay. And that's it. You've got a cute little pair of earrings. So these are easy peasy to put together. Really, really cute. And they match the necklace. So if you wanted to uh, do a set, you definitely could have a pretty little set. These have that bright pop of blue in them, but it's still the same blue. But there you go. So there's a cutie little set. Love those. All right, we're going to move on to the next. So next up is a bracelet that, like I mentioned, it would match. Um, it matches as far as the bead color is concerned, but the metal is different. So it's up to you <laughs> if you want to mix your metals or not. But I think this is a beautiful bracelet regardless in its own right. So we've got some more of those beautiful blue chat glass pearls. Guys, if you're looking for Chuck Glass Pearls, Art Beads website has got a ton of colors of Chuck Glass Pearls, um, and you are more than welcome to use my affiliate link if you want to. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but if you do, I do have an affiliate link that you can shop with. All right, so we're going to make a little beaded chain out of these beautiful blue pearls, and then we are going to use some flower connectors, a Raven's Journey flower bead, and a Chuck Glass just like the ones that were in our necklace to put together. Oh, and we also have some little bicones, of course, because I got to do dangles as well. So this is such a pretty blue bracelet that we're going to put together. Let's start with finishing off the pearl section of our little chain here. So we are going to open up an eye pin, twist to open. We're going to attach that to one of our previous. So you can see these beads are directly connected together. There's not a jump ring in between them. It's just eye pin to eye pin. All right, so I'm going to close that back. I'm going to thread on. And we're going to do a simple loop. All right, and we're going to come in with our cutter tool, trimming off, leaving ourselves about a fourth of an inch of wire. And then we're going to use our round nose pliers to grab that wire and roll back to finish off our loop. All right, next up, let's do our big chat glass. We're going to give it a couple of little bead caps just to include some of the metal here. So I'm going to open up another eye pin and thread that on. We're going to close that back. And we are going to thread on a bead cap, our large chat glass, and then another bead cap. And we're going to do another simple loop here. Okay. All right, bending the wire, cutter tool coming in, my round nose pliers. Okay, next up, let's add our Raven's Journey Chuck Glass flower. And it's already got loops on it, which is convenient for us. I mean, you have to do it yourself, the loops, but mine already had the loops on it from where I had it put together yesterday. So I'm going to open up one of those, thread that on, <laughs> close that back. All right. And now we're going to do our little flower chain section of this, which is just jump rings and our chain. So you can see the little flowers have connectors. So we're just using some jump rings to go between each one of those. So we're going to open up a jump ring here. We're going to thread that on, thread on one of our flower links, close that back, another jump ring, and then these that are already linked together, we'll go ahead and add those. All right, and then we're going to add our jump ring 
our large jump ring here. And of course, I'm going to put dangles on it because, you know, it wouldn't be a Sarah project without dangles. So each one of my head pins, I mean, each one of my body cones are going to go onto head pins and we're going to do our wrapped loop for those. So coming in with my chain nose pliers, grabbing that wire, bending the wire over the top of the pliers, coming in with my round nose pliers. We're going up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side. And then we are going to wire wrap in that space. And we're gonna come in with our cutter tool to trim off. Okay. All right, so each one of those, we're gonna open up our bicone here. I mean, we're gonna open up. Oh my goodness, I think the cold medicine is starting to get to me, you guys. Our jump ring, my goodness. All right, there's our jump ring. What is happening today? <laughs> My goodness, I'm going to thread that on to the end of our beaded chain. Actually, I'm going to thread this on to, am I going to put that there? I think I'm going to put the, it here. I don't think it matters. I think it's up to you as to what side you want. Um, and then my clasp, which already has a jump ring on it, I'm going to go ahead and thread that on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to be opening up bicones today. That's a first. I don't think we've ever done anything like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, <laughs> and this little jump ring. The bad part is, is that now I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder how many times I said that and didn't even realize I was saying it until that one time. Oh, the things that will keep me up at night. So here is our bracelet, you guys. It's so cute. I love this one and it's such a pretty blue. Those beautiful flowers asymmetrical design which you guys know I absolutely love has all my favorite things right it has flowers it has beautiful blue that I love and the Raven's Journey check glass which I can't get enough of check fire polish sparkle dangles it's checking all my boxes love this one so I hope that you are loving this one too even though I said some funny things all right moving on moving on I've got another bracelet for you guys now this is one that you guys have asked about, and I was really excited to get my hands on these beads. And I have two sets of these, so this won't be the first, or this won't be the last time that you see these beads, but I was really excited to get these. So I had some people ask me about the mood beads and have I used mood beads for anything? And I am happy to report that I've made a kit out of the mood beads and beautiful check glass. Now you may be asking yourself, because this one comes in two different colors. We're going to put the red one together. Uh, you may be asking yourself, why on earth did you put a big red mood bead <laughs> with green beads, those blue green check glass? It's because look at this. This is what happens when you wear this. When you wear this, right? it's blue, it's green, it's whatever your mood is, right? And obviously this works by heat. So having this on and up against your skin, it's probably going to be blue or green. I'm just, I, I, if I had to guess, unless you're cold natured, and if you're more of a cold person, it's probably going to be more of the reds and the coppers and just the very, very light green. I love these. I think they're so fun. And I have them in two different styles. So like I said, you're going to see another kit in the future with these, but gosh, they're so fun and they're double-sided. So you can, oh my goodness, that blue is intense. Wow. That's almost purple. It's so blue. Oh, so fun. So, so fun. Yeah. The lighter it gets, the more purple it is. Look at that. And then if you blow on it, it's going to cool down and oh, so fun. So, so fun. All right. So we're going to put together this bracelet. And of course it's got little dangles. It's on leather. It's just an easy peasy little thing. And then of course, you know me, I had to add a dangle. You don't have to add the dangle if you don't want to, but we're going to put this together. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the wire parts of this. So <clears throat> we're going to wire wrap our little bell bellflower beads and our little our little flower or cherry dangle whatever you want to want to think of it as but uh so first things first we're going to add our bellflower bead <laughs> 
to a head pin that I'm just going to throw. <laughs> and we're going to give that a bend. All right. And then we're going to come in with our round nose pliers. We're going up and over. Rotate. Take that wire over to the other side. And then we're going to roll that loop down to the top of the bead. Right? Just like that. It's off center just a little bit. It's fine. And then we're going to wire wrap this. And as we wire wrap this, we're going to wire wrap around the tip of that flower. Just right around the top. And it's going to give it the look of like adding a bead cap to it. Now you don't have to wire wrap it that way, but I do love that. It gives these little beads a little metal pop to them. Tuck in your end. Right. And then if you want to straighten that loop up, you definitely can come in and kind of roll it over just a little bit. All right. But I love that. So you're going to do two of those. All right. It's important to do these first because they're going to go on our loop because that's where we're going to start. Okay. Then the other is our little cherry or flower accent. We're going to thread one of our smaller little check glass fire polish. This is such a cool... It's like a bronze finished red and then a little chat glass leaf. If I can get that on there. The leaves were a little tricky. Some of the leaves would go on better than others. And some of the other ones I kind of had to twist a little bit. The hole on them was not drilled. If there's even just the slightest little bend in your wire. Oh, I broke it. I knew that was going to happen. Darn it. Okay. Well, I force it down. <laughs> I did break it. So this kit gets a new one, but so my cracked little bead, it did go. You did see it just, I had to be a little more forceful with it than I wanted to be. All right. So we're going to do a wrap loop on here, up and over, rotate the wire over to the other side. I hate that I broke that one. And then wire wrap. We're going to come in with our cutter tool, trim off. Yay, Jane got her mood bracelet. That's awesome. I hope you love it. I do. I really do. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this onto a jump ring. So everything's ready to go. All we have to do now is just assemble. All right. And I'm not even going to close that. I'm going to set this to the side because we're going to need that open. All right. So first things first, we're going to take our leather and we're going to come to one end and we're going to thread on our bell flowers. Okay. And we want to do an overhanded knot to make a loop here. This is going to be your, uh, your clasp. Are the mood beads from art beads? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. As, as always, as always. All right, so. Now you can wire wrap these flowers on later if you want to. I just found that it was a little bit easier just to. All right, maybe not. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay. All right, let's take our loop over here. I don't know why I was trying to, trying to tuck those. All right. We're just tying an overhanded knot here. It's a little tricky because you've got one short end and one long end. But there we go. Okay. It doesn't have to be a big loop. If you need a little extra um, length in your bracelet, though, you can make this loop a, a bit bigger. Okay. You've got plenty of leather to work with. So make it as, as big as you want it to be. Okay. All right, so one end is ready to go. The rest of this is quite honestly just stringing and knotting. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do six check glass beads with knots in between them. And we're just doing simple, simple knots here. So I'm going to thread on a bead, bring that down, and then I'm going to tie an overhanded knot. All right, and I want to set that knot as close to that bead as I can. And add another. Okay, 
Move our hand and knot. You can see how how it's cooling down as we're sitting here. I love that. I think they're so much fun. Okay. So just so you know, the other ones that I have that I will be making kits out of very soon are blue. And they're really cool. They're really, really cool. All right. So overhand and did not. And you can see I'm just, I'm not using any special tools. I'm just pushing those knots up against those beads as close as I can get them. It, it doesn't, you don't have to have anything special to do this. Okay. And I'm going pretty quickly too, so. Mood beads can't get wet, can they? I don't, you know, I really don't know. I don't think that, uh, I mean, I think with everything, you know, if, if you get water splashed on them when you're washing your hands, I think they'll be okay. But I probably wouldn't like swim with them on or shower with them on. Um, but I would say the same thing about, you know, a lot of the things that we use because we're not using like, you know, a lot of sterling silver or, you know, gold or anything like that. I mean, you know, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that I'm so congested, you guys. I hope that by next week, the steroid shot and the antibiotics will have worked and I will sound like a normal person again. <laughs> All right. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six of the uh, beautiful fire polish. The next bead I'm going to add to this is my metal accent. So I'm going to thread that on. And then I'm going to thread on my mood bead. Okay. And then we're going to do the rest of our fire polish. Now, don't forget, guys, there is bead soup available in the Etsy shop, and it is the last batch of the bead soup. Uh, after these last ones sell out, it's probably going to be a while before I have bead soup again. I cleaned out one more time, and I, I just don't think that I've got anything else to clean out as far as beads is concerned. Now, that doesn't mean that there won't be other mystery bags and things coming. Um, but as far as beads are concerned, these are going to be the last of the bead soup for a while. <laughs> Gaetana, I love your, I love, I love your comment. She says, naughty bracelets are not naughty, but nice and easy to make. I agree with you 100%. I love knots. I, they're, it's just one of my favorite, uh, techniques, whether they're simple knots or, you know, macrame knots or, or anything like that. I'm, I'm always a fan of a knot because it's such a cool accent, first of all, depending on what you're knotting with. And it's a great way to uh, protect your beads, right? You put a knot between something, it keeps those beads from rubbing up against each other. And then of course, like if your bracelet breaks, uh, you're only going to lose the one bracelet or the one bead at that knot. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> all right, we've got the last one coming up and then we're going to add our clasp to this. All righty. You are so welcome. So, so welcome. Okay, so now we're ready to attach our clasp and you can add jump ring here if you want to. I didn't include an extra jump ring, but if you wanted to add a jump ring to this, you can. I quite honestly, am just going to tie mine on. So I'm just going to thread my leather and then I'm just going to tie another knot. Um, and if you want to do like a surgeon's knot where it's a double just to make it a little bit more chunky, you can. The only problem with the surgeon's knot is I have a hard time getting it 
when I pull it down, I have a hard time getting it close enough. Let's see if I can get lucky. At least with my fingers without like adding a, um, you know, like a, a beading all. Oh, or just break my leather. <laughs> Don't pull too hard. Your leather is only uh, one and a half millimeters thick. Okay. But it actually turned out okay because I'm going to, of course, trim off the end of my leather anyway. But there's my clasp. And I'm really hard on things. You guys know I'm like use crazy strength on things and don't even think about it. So your clasp attaches down here. Now your dangle, if you want to add your dangle to this, yeah, don't pull too hard. <laughs> oh, Cecilia, thank you for using super stickers. I appreciate you so much. All right. I'm going to add my dangle next to my mood bead. You can add yours literally anywhere you want to, or you can just leave it off altogether. It's totally up to you, but I couldn't not do dangles because, I mean, you know me. You know me. So this one was, I believe it has all sold out now, but it was available in the green or the red. And that mood bead is going to be any shade <laughs> of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple, depending on you, right? It's all about the heat. So I love those. I think they're so fun. Thank you for everybody who made purchases. I hope you love your mood beads. They're so much fun. All right, moving on. I've got two quick pairs of earrings for you guys, and then we are done for the day. All right, so let's start out with our pink sparkle because who doesn't love good pink sparkle? All right, these are so cute. I love these. I thought these were cute for Easter. I wish I had gotten them out sooner, but they're gonna work for Mother's Day as well, so it's okay. All right, so these are just super quick and easy, just really pretty little sparkles. And they're so feminine. We've got a cute little bow. And then, of course, our little tiered section of our Preciosa pink crystals. So we're going to put these together really, really quickly. Two of them, two of my dangles are already ready. So we're going to do one together. And then we will put this together. So... Maria was able to get her bead soup. I'm glad because like I said, once those are gone, they're gone. All right, grabbing the wire, I'm gonna do a simple loop here. Coming in with my cutter tool, trimming off. Debbie says, those are awesome. Thank you, thank you. I think they're so pretty, I really do. And I think they're great for spring. They're just cute. They're just so cute. All right, so as far as your dangles are concerned, two of them with two by cones and one of them with three, the one with a three is gonna go in the middle and they're just simple loops. So we're just gonna open up our loops gently and thread those on. And then close our loops, okay? Easy peasy. Jan, I am feeling a little better um, I got a, <laughs> I got a shot yesterday, which is never fun. Um, <laughs> but I did finally get a round of antibiotics and the, the doctor was like, yes, you most definitely have a sinus infection. So I don't know if you guys remember, I was sick week before last. Um, and then I got better and then it came back and he was like, that's the way it is with sinus infections. Like you'll think you're getting better. And then you wake up one morning and you can't breathe. So Hopefully in a day or two, I'm going to be better. I'm, I'm hoping that by our live on Tuesday of next week, I'm going to be sounding normal. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right. So going to use a jump ring next. And that jump ring is going to go from this little connector to our bow. And then we're going to close that back. And then we're just going to add our ear wire. These are so easy and fun and pretty. So twist to open. Also next week, guys, because we didn't get a chance to do it for um, the month of March, I know it will be April by next Tuesday, but we're doing Bargain Bee Box from um, March on Tuesday of next week. So if you've been waiting on me to do that one, that's coming on Tuesday. We're doing a really pretty necklace design that I hope you guys are going to love. So, all right. So those are our crystal, our pink crystal earrings. Love these. Love these. All right. Last but not least, 
We've got one more pair of earrings and then we are done for the day. This is another fun, jangly dangly. Look at these really cool drops. I love these with these like teal green. And then we have this really cool, my favorite part of this is this bicone. So this is a prestige bicone. I can't remember what this, I think it's called Paradise Shine. And it's hard to see on camera here, but it's pink and green. It is the coolest. It has just the really coolest color. And I'm afraid you're not seeing nearly how pretty it is over the camera. But, oh, I love it. Love it. Those I have a whole set of those that I ordered just for myself to make something out of because they're so pretty. But we're going to put these little earrings together. Little. These are not little earrings. <laughs> These are a little on the big side, but I love them. I love them. So what we're doing is we are doing wrapped loops on our check fire polish, and then we're attaching those with jump rings. And most of them are ready for us, but we're going to do one together. So we're going to wire wrap one of our check glass and our beautiful bicone here. So thread those on. And thread. I have not heard of that. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> Though I think this time around, I think it just started with allergies and just progressed into a bacterial infection. I don't know, though. Oh, gosh. Oops. Pull up my bead mat here. That's the one caveat of the spring, right? And the temperature changing and things starting to bloom is all of the pollen that is in the air. And those of us who suffer with allergies, it's just, it's a struggle. It is definitely the season of humidifiers, <laughs> which I think a lot of people think is a wintertime thing. But listen, if you can't breathe, the humidifier is, it doesn't matter what time of year it is. All right. So I wire wrapped that one and I'm going to wire wrap our bicone. All right. Bending the wire. Coming in, I'm going to have to take some nasal spray before our four o'clock live over, over on Art Beads. Set your reminders and I will go take some uh, nasal spray and hopefully sound a little bit better. <laughs> it's only temporary relief, but I'll take it. You know what I mean? <laughs> And as I mentioned during that Art Beats Live, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. So you definitely want to come and hang out. Chain and Findings are on sale uh, on Art Beads. And so I'm using some chain to create a really pretty chain necklace. And uh, then showing off a couple of designer blends. And I might give one away. We'll have to see. So you definitely want to come and check that out. All right. So the difference between this one and our previous pair of earrings is that we are actually using jump rings as our connection to our findings. So I'm going to open up the jump ring here. And then I'm going to thread on one of our drops. And then I'm adding that to the loops on these beautiful components another jump ring sneaking away from me thread that one on all right we've got one more of the drops and then we're going to add our crystal to this Okay. All right. Last thing to do before we add our ear wire is to add our bicone. And I'm using the largest jump ring in the kit to do that just to give this little bicone an extra length here. Oh, thank you for reminding me. So our Zuron winners uh, from our Zuron pliers giveaway. I've got two of my winners who I have not heard from. If you would please reach out. Um, so that I can get those in the mail to you. They're sitting here on my desk. They're already packaged up. They're ready. All I got to do is add your address to them so that I can get those out to you. So please reach out. Pamela says, do you make the wire wrap and add the jump ring for more dangle? I do. Um, and it really, it's, it's really kind of just a, a design choice. 
I give it a little extra room because the beads I'm using are a little bit bigger. Now, if this were a smaller component, I may leave the jump ring out and just wire wrap them directly uh, to the component. But because the beads are a little big, I feel like if you don't add the jump ring, they're a little crowded. Um, it still looks okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all but they it does just at least for me it feels a little extra crowded but like i said that's a it's just a design choice as far as the component is concerned because if this were a smaller component i don't know that or not a smaller component smaller beads i don't know that i would need that you know what i mean so um it really just kind of depends on on what this what the situation is but now for the the drop in the middle i most definitely added a jump ring here and as i was putting this together originally i had the same size jump ring as i did for these guys here in the middle but i didn't feel like that bicone was hanging in the right spot so i went for a larger jump ring so that he hangs just a little bit lower kind of more centered in the the drop section here so it did make a huge difference as far as that bicone was concerned great question love that love that all right, so those are our beautiful little teal drop earrings, a little cha-cha design for your Friday afternoon. I love that you guys have questions and I love these. I love that y'all have been hanging out with me. I'm so sorry that I didn't make it over to Facebook. I don't know what's going on with StreamYard, but I hope that it is something that they fix very, very soon because we are missing about 150 people. From... I normally have a good bit more people here and uh, stressing me out a little bit, but what brand are my bent chain nose pliers? They are the Zuron pliers, the, both the chain nose and the bent chain nose. Uh, I, uh, the Zuron is my, my favorite just because the tips are so tiny. Now, when it comes to other things, though, I'm all about the beetle on. So my cutter tool I use, my flush cutter is a beetle on cutter. And I still prefer my beetle on round nose pliers um, because they do have a nice tiny little tip on them as well. And it's just the standard with the, with the vinyl handles. They're not nothing like super fancy. But yeah, these are, this is like my go-to set of tools right here in front of you. Now, if I'm cutting something that's a little bit thicker in gauge, I go with the yellow handled beetle on ones. Um, these are for cutting much thicker wires. And sometimes if I'm in a tight spot, they do have a little bit tinier tip on them than these do. So sometimes when I'm trying to get into a smaller area, I'll grab the heavy duty ones just because they have a, a more, a tinier tip on the end of them. But yeah. All right, guys, I am done, but I'm going to turn you around. We're going to do a quick run through of everything that was in the show today. And then we will part ways. Guys, Hardwired is open for enrollment right now. So if you would like to be a part of my paid learning uh, community, that is open for enrollment. We only open for enrollment once a month and that time is right now. So all you have to do is head over to my Facebook group. It is hardwired. Apply to be a member. Be sure that you answer the membership questions so that we know how to reach out to you for invoicing. Uh, if you do not get questions because sometimes Facebook is weird like that, apply a second time because those questions are a big deal. We got to have those questions answered. Um, okay. So what else to remind you of? Just that there is a 4 p.m. live over on Art Beads. Like I said, Chain of Bindings are on sale today over on the Art Beads website. Feel free to use my affiliate link and I will be putting together a fun chain project for you guys using some vintage and probably going to do a, a giveaway. Um, at least I better. At this point, I've mentioned it so many times. People will be disappointed if I don't uh, so to make sure that Eric is still on board with that. But I got a couple of bead mixes to show you too. All right, so this was our beautiful necklace. I got a little something on that. I'm going to need to fix that. All righty. So there is our Tierra Cast coin necklace. So pretty, so pretty. That's one of my very favorite Tierra Cast pendants. I really, really love it. And you can't go wrong with that soft blue. Just lovely. For stainless steel, chain i use my heavy duty or my memory wire shears because they can handle anything because like the memory wire is tempered steel so they're made to cut through and the good thing about the memory wire uh, pliers is that they give a flush cut on both ends which these guys don't 
they give you a flush cut or they give you a, a jagged cut. So uh, depends on what you're looking for there. But yeah, my heavy duty, heavy duty, heavy, <laughs> heavy duty, <laughs> or my memory wire shears for anything, anything steel. All right. And these were our cute little oval earrings that definitely go really well, right? With our necklace. It was like they were made to go together because they were. <laughs> All right. And then we had our beautiful blue bracelet with our little flower chain, which I absolutely love. And more of those beautiful blue chat glass pearls, a Raven's Journey flower, and that same beautiful big fire polished blue. And of course, you can't leave out the dangles because, you know, that's what we do here. <laughs> And then we had mood bracelets. We had both the red and the green. And as far as I know, these have both sold out. But gosh, they're so fun. Look at that. I love it. I love it. If you guys love the mood beads, I'll get my hands on more of these. I do have some blue ones that are be coming out in kits very soon. And we had our pink sparkle earrings, which were just sweet and sparkly and oh so cute. Love those. And then last but not least, we had our teal drops, which are just fabulous. You can see that bicone color a little bit better from this angle. It's so pretty in person. It really, really is. These are so fun. Oh, I love those. Love those so, so much. All right. Don't forget, guys, about our true do-it-yourself kits that are also available in the shop. Um, those are of course in limited quantities. So once those are gone, they are gone for good. The same with the bead soup. Once that is gone, that is gone for a while because this is the last clean out, uh, doing a little spring cleaning around, uh, the studio here. And I am out of beads for bead soup, but I probably will have mystery bags coming your way, uh, in the near future. That's the next step to clean out. So, um, always looking forward to giving those to you guys. All right, friends, I am out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this Friday afternoon. I hope that you have had an amazing Feel Good Friday show. And uh, my apologies to all my Facebook crew for uh, StreamYard. I don't understand what's going on there, but hopefully they'll have that fixed by next week. Next week, set your reminders for 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. We're doing Bargain Bead Box, the March box, even though it will be April. Um, and that's it. Oh, don't forget, Hardwired is open for enrollment as well. We would love to have you, you guys. All right. I am finally, finally done with all my chatter. Go have a great afternoon, and hopefully I'll see the rest of you at 4 p.m. over on Art Beads. If not, have a great weekend. I love you guys. Bye.